set up for the fomentation treatment. You need to start by placing your large piece of plastic over your bed or table or whatever it is that you're going to use to do the treatment on. If you don't have a large piece of plastic, you can also use a shower curtain. Next, place your sheet. At the foot of the bed, place a towel where your foot basin will go. You'll need a pillow for the patient to lay on. Then take one of those towels and fold it into three, so that way you'll have three layers to cover the fomentation that, will, that the patient will be laying on. Before I go get the fomentation, I'm going to set up the foot bath. Have the foot bath and a cup of water nearby. And place your warm water in the foot bath before the patient comes. Now go and get the fomentation and the treatment will be ready for the patient. For preparing your fomentation, there are a number of different methods you can use. You can either boil, use the boiling method, you can either steam the fomentations, or you can microwave them to heat the fomentation pad. This is a fomentation pad. It's a thick, um, layered pad that's been sewn together and it retains heat very well. Once it's heated, you would fold it inside of a fomentation cover. The fomentation cover is actually a wool blanket that's been cut to fit around the pad very easily. If you don't have a fomentation pad or cover, you can also use towels. You would want to use a smaller towel for the fomentation pad and a larger towel for the cover. For the boiling method, you would take your fomentation pad or towel in this case, you would fold it in half the long way so that way it is the shape of the fomentation pad you would use otherwise. Then I'm going to fold it in half and fold it in half again and now it's ready to dip in your pot of boiling water. Dip the towel in the middle into the boiling water, holding the ends out so you don't burn your fingers. Lift it back out and squeeze it. Once you've squeezed it, take your towel, open it up, Carefully open back up your fomentation. And now it's ready to use on the patient. To prepare for the fomentations using the steaming method, you need a large canner or a large pot with a rack inside. You would fill the pot up with water just below the rack so that when you put the fomentations inside, the fomentation is not actually sitting in the water, but only catching the steam that comes up. To get your fomentation pad ready, take your fomentation and get it wet first. Once it's wet, make sure you wring out all excess water. Take your fomentation pad and roll it up. And then place it in, inside of your steaming canner. 
You'll want to wait about 20 minutes or so for it to get nice and hot and then you're ready to use it for your patient. For using the steaming method, you don't need to use a pressure canner in order to do it. All you need is a large pot with a lid to capture the steam and a rack to keep the fomentations out of the water. I did not tighten down this pressure canner at all. It's now steaming inside, so the fomentations are hot and they're ready for me to use on the patient. You'll want to be sure you have some tongs or a hot pad or something to pick the fomentations up out of the, out of the pot because they're very hot. Place the fomentation pad in the middle of the wool blanket and cover, fold it up in three and it's ready to take to the patient. For the microwaving method, get your fomentation pad wet first. This one is already wet and wrung out. Roll it up. You want to place it inside of a bag. and place it into the microwave and microwave it for approximately 10 minutes on high. Be sure to use something to pull it out of the microwave with because it's going to be very hot. Carefully remove it from the plastic bag, spread it out in the middle of your fomentation cover, fold it and then take it to the patient. To begin the fomentation treatment, you want to bring a heated fomentation that's wrapped with the fomentation cover in and place it under the towel where the patient will lay. Cover it with the towel and then assist the patient up onto the bed. Ready, Mariah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead and lay down on that. Okay. Is that comfortable? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead and dip your toes into the foot water just to be sure it's not too hot. Is that okay? Good. All right. Go ahead and put your feet in. We'll adjust this so that way it's comfortable for you. Now I'm going to cover the patient with a sheet and a blanket. One thing you want to be careful of when you're getting the patient down on the bed is to make sure that that fomentation pad underneath them doesn't get too hot. Is it too hot or is it okay? It's okay. If it gets too hot and they start feeling hot spots on their back, then make sure that you have extra hand towels or towels nearby where you can have them lift up and then tuck one of those towels underneath them where the hot spot is. Now to prepare to do the, fo the contrast fomentations on the chest, you'll want to take one of those other towels, also folded in three, so you have three layers to protect between them and the hot fomentation. Place it over the chest and then pull the sheet and blanket out from under it so you can keep the patient modest. 
Now, Mariah is wearing an outfit today for this demonstration. When you do this treatment on a patient at home, you would want to be sure that you would have the chest exposed so that way the chest would come in direct contact with the heat and especially with the cold. At this point, I'll go get another hot fomentation pad. Take the fomentation pad, place it carefully across the chest, but be sure that it doesn't come too far off of the towel because you could burn the patient's arms if you're not careful. Now I'm going to take another towel and I'm going to cover the fomentation pad so we don't lose too much of the heat. Now be sure that you communicate often with your patient to make sure that there's no burning on the chest as well as on the back. Is there any hot spots yet? It's getting hot on the back. It's getting a little hot on the back. Okay. Where is it getting hot on the back? Uh, down towards the bottom. Okay. I'm just going to pull the blankets back. Show me where. Right there. Okay. Add an extra couple of layers. Okay, is that better? Mm -hmm. Very good. Now we'll time for three minutes. We'll leave this warm fomentation on her chest. At the end of three minutes, then we're ready to do the cold. I have my cold basin here, and I have a hand towel that I've put into the cold water with ice in it, and I'm gonna wring it out. I'm going to pull back the blankets and remove the hot fomentation and the top towel, leaving the towel that I have placed on her chest there. Then I'm going to take my hand towel and grab it by the top two corners, grab the corners of this towel and exchange them so that way I keep her modest. At this point you want to do some nice friction. For 30 seconds, keep the cold on. And then when you're finished, take the two corners of the towel that you're going to replace, grab the, the corners of the cold towel, and exchange it back. Then take your new hot fomentation pad, replace it, cover it with your towel, and cover her back up for another three more minutes. During the three minutes while you're waiting for the hot on the chest, make sure that you keep the hot foot bath nice and warm. Mariah, could you use more hot water on your feet? I think so. Okay. Carefully pick up the sheet and the blanket so that way it doesn't get into the water. Fold it back. Mariah, would you move your feet to one side of the bucket, please? Place your hand between her feet and where you're pouring the hot water and carefully add more hot water, mixing it in. Okay, Mariah, you let me know when it's warm enough. That's good. That's good? Okay. Also, while the patient is warming up, make sure that you keep them well hydrated. Would you like some water? Yes, please. A straw is an essential part of giving your patient more water. How is the heat on your chest, Mariah? It's getting a bit warm. It's getting a bit warm. Okay. 
Another thing you can do to help if they're, if they're getting too hot, the towel that you have sitting on top of them that's folded in three, take that, put that down, and fold back only one layer and put the fomentation pad. So now instead of only three layers of towel between your patient and the hot foamy, you now have five with one layer to go over top of the foamy. How are you feeling, Raya? Feeling very warm. When your patient starts to get feeling really warm or they start to sweat a little bit on their forehead, then use those washcloths to cool the head. Does that feel better, Mariah? Yes. To finish the fomentation treatment, you want to end with cold on the chest. Now with the chest contrast, you want to do a minimum of three changes. Six changes is also a good number of times to do it. Going to remove the hot fomentation. And the extra layers of towels. And then I'm gonna finish with cold on the chest. Doing some nice friction. You want to do the cold mitten friction for 30 seconds on the chest and then end with the dry towel. Then to finish the foot bath, you would want to pour cold water on the feet. So I'm going to just move this out. Go ahead and keep your feet over the bucket. Is that okay? All right. I'm going to take my cold water and I'm going to pour it over her feet. Just hold it over the bucket. Okay, and point your toes up to the ceiling, please. Okay, I'm going to remove the foot bucket now. And dry the feet. And then at the very last, when you're finished with the chest and the feet, then you'll want to do either a cold mitten friction treatment or a cool shower.